Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button because we're starting out this video with great news. We get our first defensive lineman commit in Sherman Kurtz. And he was actually one of the guys that I was really, really hoping for because we have three graduating defensive tackles and they're all seniors. And we definitely need some help there. So let's look at Garen Reed. So we actually fell back 1,600 points. And look at this, we're locked out. But luckily we do have an unlock. So we're gonna use this on him. And this is actually the first time I've ever used unlock. I've never used it before. And I jumped up to second place. Is that, I mean, just let me know down in the comments below. Does that usually happen? I mean, I jumped all the way up to second after just unlocking him. I mean, he's got tons and tons of extra points there because of playing time, proximity to home, playing style, everything. I mean, this guy should be lined up to go to San Jose State because we're like one of the best teams in the NCAA right now. We are hot at six and one, three and oh in conference, and we're going up against kind of a spread offense. They throw the ball a ton as Washington State has Cam and Cooper at their quarterback position he can run a little bit but mostly throwing the ball i mean look at all these guys these guys are all prolific receivers they have great stats to start out the season and this is going to be a good one and then what's funny about being locked out up from garen reed is that he's actually visiting this week that actually makes me i mean that makes me laugh a little bit because you know how can you lock the team out but then visit them so then we have andrew uh, jordan coming in and jojo force two defensive backs and this is going to be a good game for that because it's going to be all passes through the air. So no game audio in this game. Something happened with the capture card, so it didn't record the audio. But we're still here recording as on a third and seven, throwing a screen pass. And that's stopped by Cameron Alexander, who's been hot this season. I don't know what it's been, but maybe after that Montel Aaron game, he's feeling fired up. So here we go out on offense for the first time after forcing a three and out on the opening possession, giving the ball off to Tyler Nevins as he's got a chance to go for a thousand yards this season. Here is Drayvon Jennings on the triple option, pitching it out to Jamal Taylor, who takes a big hit. In each game, Jamal Taylor has been getting more and more involved in the offense. So on a first and 10, here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to get sacked, and that's a loss of two yards as he can't get away from the pressure. Third and 12, throw across the middle, there's Jamal Taylor, like I just said. He's been getting involved a lot, and that's a pinpoint throw by Drayvon Jennings, and I think that might be his favorite target on this offense. So now here's Jennings throwing out to the right side. He's finding the senior Billy Humphreys for five yards. So now on a third and five, throw out to the right side there is Jamal Taylor. He's fighting his way inside the five for a gain of 14 yards. So first and goal, handoff up the middle to Tyler Nevins. He almost gets in, but he gets stopped before the goal line. So third and goal, rolling out to the right. Drayvon Jennings throwing into traffic, and that is picked off. And that's just a bad throw on that one. We tried to get rid of it, just putting up points on the board. But we could have just thrown that one away. And instead, we turn the ball over. And here comes Washington State back out on offense. So here is Cooper looking for revenge after that first drive. Throwing Bruh. the ball out to the right side. And that's Calvin on the catch. What is Nehemiah Shelton doing? He had a pick six on that. First and 10, Cooper from the shotgun once again. I just noticed that he's a lefty. He guns that one across the middle. And that's caught by Calvin again for a gain of 11. So at the 50-yard line, Cooper this time taking it himself to the right side. No quarterback contained on that one. And that's a gain of 11 and a first down. Snapped from the shotgun. Here is Cooper. He's going to unload and throw this one deep down the left side. And then he's going to find Calvin again. That's a gain of 28 and a big first down. So Cooper has been hot so far in this game, throwing the ball out to the right side, and that's Renard Bell, and he catches that one in traffic, and Cooper goes perfect on that drive, six for six, and a touchdown. So here's Drayvon Jennings back out onto the field, this time finding Jamal Taylor, breaking a tackle, spinning away from one, and he's picking up a gain of 17, and he gets the big first down on that one. He does a lot with his legs after the catches. Here's a deep throw from Matt Pollard, and I definitely want to use that speed 
as we kind of have a good blend of receiving receiving threats on this team. We have Matt Power, the, the possession guy, 14 yards on that one. Then we have Jamal Taylor, the speed guy. Then we have the guy who can just get open in Trey Walker. He is a senior, so we are going to have to replace him come next year. We do have Raheem Akusi at the four spot right now and Carl Wolf. I definitely like both of those guys. I actually kind of like Raheem Akusi a lot as he's just a perfect slot guy. He doesn't have the great speed, but he can just get open, kind of like Trey Walker. Trey Walker doesn't have elite speed, but he just finds a way to get open. So now inside the 20-yard line, here's Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's got a lot of room, and he's going to pick up a big gain of 12 inside the 10-yard line. I don't want him to get hurt, though, so he's got to get down. First and goal. Throw out to the left side. That's Tyler Nevins wide open. He's going to walk in. And that's a six-yard touchdown catch. As Tyler Nevins actually has proven that he's actually kind of a good receiving back. I didn't use him that way in the first two seasons, but I definitely regret it because he, he's pretty good at catching the ball out of the backfield. So we do get him to a third and three. Here's Cooper running the option to the right side, and that's a stop by Andre Armstead. He hasn't been able to get many sacks on the year, but he's just doing his job, and he forces the punt. So Tyler Nevins back out on the next drive. Here's a handoff up the middle to start the second quarter. And he only picks up a gain of one. So third and seven, a throw across the middle. There's Matt Pollard again, 19 yards as he's got reliable hands. And remember, I wanted to play him at tight end, but he just can't block. But that's a good spot for him on the right side of the field. So here's Javon Jennings rolling out to the right. And he's taking a huge hit on that as we get to a third and nine. Running out to the right side this time. Can he get down? But no, he's going to run through the defenders. He's going to make his way inside the five-yard line. So first and goal. Hand off to Tyler Nevins, and that's in for a touchdown. This time he gets in. And here we go. We have the seven-point lead going into the middle of the second quarter. So here is Cooper back out onto the field. Remember, he went perfect on the other drive two drives ago six for six six and here's a deep throw down the field and a wide open renard bell and that's a touchdown i don't know what trey trey white was doing on that but let's just take another look at him in the secondary there's a slant route that comes across the middle you can see he bites on it why would you bite on that i mean th th that makes no sense at all you have a guy running right past you and he gives up the big touchdown so now here's Tyler Nevins in a 14 of 14 game, starting out the next drive. Handoff up the middle, and that's a gain of nine. Third and one, handoff up the middle once again to Tyler Nevins as he's actually moving the ball quite well in this game through the air and also on the ground, and that's a first down. Second and 10, throw out to the right side. There's, there's Matt Pollard again, 15 yards. Is he? I don't think I've ever seen him drop a pass, actually. And that's another first down for him in this game. I think he's got four. So here is Jay Jamal Taylor getting that catch. And look at that. He gets smacked on it. Look how he flies in the air as that is a huge hit by number 13 that time. But Jamal Taylor holds on to it for a first down. So second and six. Here is Jennings rolling out to the right side. Finding Taylor again. He's taking a big hit. And he's holding on to it for 18 yards. He's getting smacked on this drive. I actually think he was shaking up a little bit on that one so first and 10 throw across the middle there's Jennings finding Trey Walker another big hit as they are trying to force the ball out of our receivers hands but we do give it off to Tyler Nevins that time to score four yards out and this game is turning into a shootout a little bit it looks like it's gonna go back and forth all game long so here's Cooper on the next drive this time thrown across to the right side he's got Calvin for nine yards as they get it to a second in inches. Cooper under center this time. He's got all day to throw on every single pass. He finds Washington, and look at that blocking on the outside as Washington gets all the way upfield for 50 yards. And look at Cooper. He's 11 for 12 to start this game, and there is no sign of us stopping him on the next throw to Harris. That's a touchdown. So many holes in this defense, and we can't play man coverage because we just can't. I mean, our cornerbacks are not good enough to play man and we kind of want to switch off back and forth but we just can't do it versus these, versus these spread teams so now facing a second and 10 on the next drive here is Drayvon Jennings he's gonna unload deep and he's got a man wide open that's Jamal Taylor and that's a touchdown 
What a connection these two are starting to develop. And wow, Jamal Taylor just runs right past the cornerback. That corner had no chance on that one. And that's just pure speed. As man, he is having a big game. Already he's at 150 yards receiving. So now here is Cooper back out on the next drive. He's scrambling out to the left side. We have Michael Cummings there on the spy, and he's tackling him for a five-yard gain. So a minute left here in the first half. Here is Cooper. He's going to move in the pocket and throw the ball yeah. deep, and he's going to be a completion to Davis. Fred Davis somehow comes up with that. He snags it away from Isaac Tagia, and that's a big catch and a big throw there to make it past the 50-yard line. So here's Cooper this time trying to get out of the pocket, but he's going to get swallowed up, and that's Andre Armstead. He finally gets in for a sack. So third and 17, Cooper from the shotgun. We're facing, they're facing a little bit of pressure, sending some blitzes up the middle, and it works. He only gets a gain of nine, and that's uh, going to be a long field goal here. This is uh, actually close to a 60-yard or 57, and that's going to be wide to the left as we take that into halftime and it's going to be a 28 to 21 lead so here to start the second half you know what i just noticed that you know the last couple games we've been ranked 22 21 and 21 we didn't even move after the last victory so here's drayvon jennings scrambling out to the right side he's diving forward for an 11 yard game so the first and 10 play action fake He's going to roll out to the left side this time, trying to buy some time to throw the ball deep. And he gets sacked and he gets hit. And take another look. Drayvon Jennings is shaken up once again. This happens at least once a game. And here is Cole McDonald into the game. So now on a second and 16, here's a read option to the left side. That's what we like to run with McDonald in the game. But ooh, Tyler Nevins gets tripped up for a gain of nine. So it does look like Drayvon Jennings is going to be all right as Cole McDonald does scramble to the right side. He picks up a big gain getting close to about the 50-yard line. So now in a second and eight, here he is scrambling out to the right side. He's got speed. He's cutting inside. He's going to get stripped, and that's a fumble, and none picks it up. And he's got a fumble recovery and an interception. And, man, we got two turnovers in this game. And this doesn't look good because Cooper has been airing it out in this game. Here's a throw out to Bell on that one. And somehow he gets around that tackle that time. And that's a first down. So here on a gotcha, second and bitch. five, here's Jalen Nelson on the blitz. And he's getting to Cooper. And what a season he's had. I've never had a guy that started in his freshman, in his senior season, and have the impact that he's had. Jalen Nelson is just balling out this season. But here on that next play, he, they are short of the first down marker, but on the fourth and inches, they hand the ball off the middle, up the middle to Buster Thomas, their fullback, and he picks up six in a first down. So Cooper on a second and 12, throwing out to the right side. Here he is finding Harris, and Harris is making his way inside the 15-yard line for a 25-yard gain. This team is not slowing down at all. Here is Cooper this time. He's going to buy a little time, gotcha, avoid a sack from Andre Armstead, and that's a sack by Trey Webb. I mean, Andre Armstead gets there so much, but he just doesn't get there in time. So now here is Trey Webb. He's on man, Trey Webb is a beast. I'm going to miss him so much. He's our slot cornerback along with our starting safety. He just plays anywhere on the field. So now on a third down, trying to throw a screen pass. That's not going to work as they kick the field goal and make it a four-point game. So here is Drayvon Jennings back in the game. Here he is rolling out to the right. He gets hit on that. That may have been a late hit, but that is a gain of nine. So now to start out the fourth quarter, here is a handoff to Tyler Nevins on a third down carry, and he picks up enough for a first down on that one. So Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to find Jamal. Taylor puts on a move. And look at him. He's making his way upfield and gets to about the 25-yard line, 24 yards on that catch and run. So first and 10. Here is Jennings standing in the pocket, finding Taylor again. And that's a seven-yard reception. And that catch right there puts him over 200 yards on the game. He has 206 yards off of 10 receptions. And that one. Puts him over the 200-yard mark. So here is Jenny scrambling out to the right side. This time getting out of bounds pretty smartly on that one and picking up a gain of four. 
So here's Tyler Nevins. He's bulldozing his way for a gain of five as this clock continues to run. We got to try to milk this clock. So here's Jamal J. Taylor actually into the game, getting a six-yard carry up the middle as he's only got two carries. I mean, he doesn't get as much playing time as I thought he would get because Tyler Nevins is just a beast as he gets into the end zone two yards out and he makes it a two-score game and they have to score at least a touchdown and get the onside kick. So now here is Cooper on the next drive from the shotgun. He's going to unload. He's got a man Bruh. wide open again. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with my secondary this game, but that's an 80-yard touchdown. And look at Cooper. He's got two incompletions, 400 yards, and four touchdowns. What is Nehemiah Shelton doing on that? That is just horrible defense. And here we go. Is the Heisman cheese going to come back in this one? So here is Drayvon Jennings taking it himself. He's picking up nine yards as we're starting to chew this clock down. Here is Tyler Nevins on the handoff. He gets to the outside. Luckily, stays in bounds. Almost ran out of bounds on that one. He picks up a gain of 17. So now, two minutes left. We get him to burn one timeout, and there's another open lane. And there's Tyler Nevins, a gain of 15. And that's their second timeout. They burn another. So now, jet sweep this time to Jamal Taylor. He's got a lot of room. He's staying in bounds, though. And he's forcing them to use that last timeout as one more first down seals the game. So here on a third and two, there is Tyler Nevins. And man, what a game he's had. This offensive line had a great game, run blocking, and we hold on to win this game. And wow, that was close. I mean, Cooper almost brought them all the way back. And with that one deep shot down the right side, 80 yards, I mean, there was no time off the clock. I mean, that was literally 10 seconds. So they had a lot of time left still. They didn't even have to kick the onside kick. But we end up holding on to win this game. Uh, Drayvon Jennings actually had a pretty good game too, 18 for 26. But Tyler Nevins definitely stole the show in this one. He went for 115, but what a game by Jamal Taylor. 206 yards receiving. That's definitely, I think, the highest total I've ever had in, for a receiver in any dynasty. It, it may be top two. Maybe I'll have to look. But I definitely have maybe only done that once. And I don't remember if I did. So it might be the most I've ever had from a receiver. I mean, maybe that's a sign of things to come. Maybe Jamal Taylor is going to be one of the greatest receivers we've had. We don't know. It might be just lightning in the bottle. We don't really know. But I, I just got to say, Jalen Nelson is having himself a spectacular season at – I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, he just sitting back, backing up two years in a row. He finally gets some playing time his senior season, and he is just balling out. I mean, just look at the type of numbers he's putting up each game. He's always had a big play in each game. Well, let's just talk about this Washington State offense. Cooper went off 400 yards, four touchdowns, two incompletions. And maybe that's the Heisman cheese a little bit. Maybe it's our bad secondary. I don't know, but they have two receivers over 100 yards. But somehow we hold on and we barely outscore them by three. And maybe we'll even rise up in the rankings a little bit. I mean, they weren't a ranked team or anything, but. And they were actually winless in the conference, so maybe not. But we stay undefeated in the conference. We now move on to 4-0. 7-1 on the season. What a season three we're having already. I mean, who, who would have thought we would go into the Pac-12 and be this dominant this early? But look at that. They didn't even run the ball. They had nine carries for negative two rushing yards. And I guess that just shows you that how dominant our defensive line was this game. We got to the quarterback, but our secondary was just pretty bad. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. You don't want to miss any action coming up, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.